Welcome back to the podcast. I am Craig Strom. I am the income engineer. I'm also a paralegal at Barth Calderon. So wherever you happen to watch this, whether you're watching on Wealth Protector TV, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, if you're listening on Personal Pension Radio, hello, leave a comment, share this. Please, this is a big one. Watch your step. If you're a Southern California or California resident and you have not heard about Prop 19, pay close attention. This is by no means going to be a big deep dive into Prop 19, but if you want more information on it, definitely you'll send me an email, I hope, Craig with a K at craigstrom.com. We've got an awesome webinar that we had just recorded today that I'll send you a link to that webinar if you're interested in a deeper dive into Prop 19. But today is just watch your step. Let me give you the quick down and dirty details. This proposition ended up on the ballot here in California. It is, and, and how do I really feel about it? Horrible amazingly horrible, one of the most nefarious, deceitful pieces of political legislation that I've ever seen. Incredible. They buried some things inside. Um, basically, they buried some really horrible stuff inside a wrapper that said this. If you're over 55 and you lose your home to a wildfire and you lost your house and you'd been in that home for many, many years, we want to make sure that you could move somewhere safer, somewhere that won't get burned down. And we'll let you take your tax basis, what you are tax assessed. We'll take that tax assessment and transfer it to your new property. Isn't that nice? Don't you feel warm and fuzzy about helping seniors get out of those terrible situations? That's the wrapper they put around Prop 19. Inside Prop 19, the worst, absolutely the worst. Here's what they basically took away. They took away the option for parents to be able to leave their property, their home, their rental properties, to be able to leave those properties to their children and maintain the original tax basis. Here in Southern California, People have homes that they've lived in for some 20, 30 years where they have very low tax basis, meaning property tax, very low property taxes. And the property taxes for new homes here in Southern California is horrendous. So what has happened now is the Prop 19 is essentially making that go away. Now, it is far more complicated than what I'm going to go over in this video. So please remember, we have a webinar available. Send me an email, Craig with a K at craigstrom.com. I'll send you back a link to that webinar so that you can get much more detail from our founding attorney, Harry Barth. But know this, Prop 19 has changed the game. If mom and dad have a home, if grandma and grandpa have a home in California and they want to transfer it to the next generation and none of the children are planning on living in that home. And as a matter of fact, if you have three kids, two kids, four, five, six kids, 10 kids, do they all have to live in the home? How does it work? But if none of the children live in the home after mom and dad die, very likely the property taxes are reassessed. That's right, reassessment that was not an issue in the past. Some 650,000 homeowners are in this ballpark right now. Maybe millions in California seriously under this right now. This is big time. Prop 19, watch your step. If you want more information, if you're not sure if this affects you with your rental properties, your personal properties, your commercial properties, business properties, you've got to get a consultation scheduled. Love to help. I would love to help you get that information. Send me an email, Craig with a K at craigstrom.com. Take care. Watch your step.